Hi folks, Sandro here, Thwart Cartoon News and Shenanigans, and today we have a wacky, wacky topic to go over, and uh, I can't wait to talk about this one. So last night, every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. EST, I do a live stream, okay? And one of my brand new subscribers, I wrote his name down, I promised him I would give him credit for this, his name is Devon Azim. He said to me, he said, Sandro, would you mind doing a video or maybe talking about the brand new Grinch movie? And I go, brand new Grinch movie? Is there a brand new Grinch movie? And, you know, uh, I was thinking to myself, like, Illumination just did that Grinch movie a few years back with Benedict Cumberbatch. You can see that one right down there. Uh, this was the model. Uh, by the way, I was not a fan of that movie. Uh, I just didn't think it was very good. They did a rap version of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. You know that famous song where it's like, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Uh, yeah, they do this like weird, janky, like rap version of it. I was, I, it didn't feel like Christmas to me, you know? Uh, I just was not a fan of that Illumination film. I actually prefer the original cartoon of the Grinch or the Jim Carrey. You gotta love the Jim Carrey version. What a classic, man. Uh, so yeah, I thought to myself, my God, are they doing another Grinch? Like it, <laughs> the body is still warm. The body is still warm. You can't be doing another Grinch. And we look it up online. Okay. And we found this article and it turns out they're ma we're getting the, the Winnie the Pooh treatment all over again. You guys remember this Winnie the Pooh movie that's coming out soon? Uh, Winnie the Pooh, blood and honey. We have the exact same scenario going down here with the Grinch. Okay, so we did some research a few years ago. A bunch of the Dr. Seuss movies entered the public domain. When something enters the public domain, everybody can use those characters, right? Now, some companies are going to have the copyrights. There's obviously going to be uh, cop uh, companies that uh, trademarked or copyrighted The Grinch. So they can't call the movie The Grinch. So what they did is they're making a horror film of The Grinch called The Mean One. The mean one. No joke. This is no joke. It's real. There's, I think there's a trailer maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a trailer. I, I don't want to say it. Like, it looks like there's something to play here. Um, we're going to have to investigate a little further once we get into it here. But uh, uh, the mean one. Grinch horror parody sets December release date. Then we have this. The Grinch Christmas horror movie. The mean one release date. Uh, the, the Grinch goes R-rated horror slasher movie in the mean one. And then we got this headline here. Gory new Grinch horror movie looks genuinely disturbing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we got to just get, we, we got to read about this, right? We got to read about this. We have another, I mean, that does look really good. That, that, that whoever did the mask here, that looks fantastic. I love that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a real picture or not, or if they just like mock, did a mock up here. But uh, yeah, if that's a real picture, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the mask they went with or the costume set design here. Really looks pretty good. Um, you know, it, it definitely looks better than the Winnie the Pooh one. <laughs> oh my God. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. People are speculating it's going to come out in just a couple of weeks. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Guys, don't forget, it, uh, Halloween is just right around the corner, October 31st. Today's the 12th when I'm filming this. But um, yeah, we got the Winnie the Pooh treatment again. And by the way, yeah, same thing happened with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, this very year on January 1st, 2022, Winnie the Pooh entered the public domain. And that's why they were able to make this film. So that's absolutely wacky. And let's go back to the Grinch here. So here we go. The mean one. The mean one. <laughs> uh, the mean one. A Grinch horror parody is coming our way this December. Oh, it's coming. Okay, so we are literally, we might be getting Winnie the Pooh horror movie two months away from freaking the Grinch horror movie. This is wacky, man. What a wacky timeline we're living in. His heart will only grow by spilling blood and slicing roast beef. <laughs> Oh, good God. Um, See, so yeah, I do. Oh, by the way, this is the collider.com in case you wanted to read the article for yourself. Uh, none of your favorite childhood classics uh, or uh, childhood characters are safe anymore. While we're still waiting for the arrival of the slasher take on everyone's favorite honey eating bear in Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, a new family friendly uh, favorite has crossed into the horror territory. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Uh, titular bad guy turned good will be slicing and dicing the roast beef and more in the upcoming holiday horror, the mean one. Uh, I wonder if they were able to, I, I guess they weren't allowed to legally call it your mean one. 
Uh, I, that's what I would have gone for, right? You're the mean one, Mr. Grinch. Uh, I guess they couldn't do that. So they went with the mean one, which it, it's, it's fair enough. Fair enough, right? Uh, playing on the main plot and names for the Grinch universe, the mean one centers on the titular character who lives at the top of a snowy peak and carries a deep disdain for Christmas. Will it, <laughs> I, now, I wonder if he's just going to be killing human beings or if he's going to be killing the people of Whoville, right? Uh, or what were their names, right? Were they called Whovians or something like that? Uh, I got, Hold on. Let me, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Uh, Whoville, right? Uh, Whoville, yes. Uh, the, and what were the name of the characters that live in? Were they called Whovillians? It's, de it's, uh, it's Dezizens go by the collective name Who's. Yeah, so is the Grinch going to be killing humans or who's in this one? Are they going to be elf? Like, are they going to have pointed ears? Uh, we do see him, like, sort of attacking a human in this picture. I don't know if that's fake, though. Uh, image via XYZ Films, it says in the corner there. I, again, not sure if that's real. I hope that's real. That picture looks really good. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do wonder if they're going to be killing the people of Whoville uh, or if they're not allowed to, like, use some of those, uh, you know, elements of the original uh, Grinch. Uh, I'm not sure, but, uh, okay. So we're playing off the main plot and the names from the Grinch universe. The mean one centers on the da, da, da. And, uh, like the original telling the folks living in the town below Newville. No, come on. No, they, they had to change it. Oh, come on. I, maybe I should have just read one sentence before I looked it up. Uh, but now we know Whoville, right? The who's of Whoville. It's been a while since I watched the Grinch actually. Um, so Newville are, let me guess, are they called news instead of who's? Oh my God. Newville are all terrified of the green skin baddie, but for more terrifying reasons than sneaking into their homes, eating their food and stealing their presents. Uh, although all of those things are pretty horrific too. Uh, things come to a head when young Cindy, you know, who, uh, Krista, uh, who is this crystal Mart Mar Martin? Uh, comes home in the hopes of healing her past after her parents were m brutally slaughtered by the mean one 20 years ago. Oh my God. <laughs> That's Jim Carrey there for sure. Uh, still thirsty for blood. The mean one is preparing his holiday journey into the town below, ready to continue his bloodshed starring opposite Martin as the titular monster, David Howard Thornton, uh, terrifier, la la la. Uh, there's no word whether this version will have some sort of ravenous take on the Grinch's dog, Max. Yeah, that'd be cool. What about Max? They got to have Max in there. Uh, but we can only dream. Or maybe, what if they got a real reindeer? That'd be wacky. Uh, the mean one is under the directorial eye of Stephen Lamort. Uh, or maybe it's Lamorte. Balance of the Force. And um, the story of the great. Yeah, we know the story of the. Yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch just did one in 2018. And, uh, so when is the release date? Hold on. Uh, we don't have, wait, I thought, okay, this one says the release date. Let's see what the release, it's gotta be like December or something, right? Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. we're going to see it. It's probably, well, it seems to be coming this December. Is that the only thing we have to go? I, um, yeah. Grinch like character. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, Oh, it's going, okay, it's going to be coming this Christmas. Okay, I guess I missed that in the other article. Uh, with the Dr. Seuss character becoming even more evil. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, so this is, I, I do like the idea. So this it seems this picture is legit. That is a legit picture. Um, absolutely exciting stuff here. We're getting the Grinch horror movie. We're get, I can't wait till the Alice in Wonderland horror movie. And I guarantee you two years from now in 2024, you're going to see a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> You're going to see some kind of wacky off the wall Mickey Mouse horror film. Uh, what would they call it? With, without naming it Mickey Mouse, what would they call it? Um, the Slaughter Mouse. Yeah, that, look, I pitched the name. If the horror companies want to buy my name, Slaughter Mouse. Okay, there you go. I, you got to do it. You got to do it. Slaughter Mouse. Uh, yeah, so that's what's probably going to happen in the future. I wouldn't be surprised if they start going back through the old catalog there. We're going to see like uh, freaking um, here in Canada, the Chronicles of Narnia are actually, oh no, the Chronicles of Massacre. Uh, like, what are they going to do? The Killings of Narnia. Yeah, the Killings of Narnia. Oh my God. Mr. Tumnus is about to get slaughtered like a goat man. <laughs> oh boy. 
Um, yeah, that'd be wacky if they did that. James Bond is in the uh, here in Canada. Also, I believe um, James Bond is in the public domain, so they could do some kind of James Bond murder kind of thing. Uh, I guess it doesn't work so well with James Bond, but uh, something like Alice in Wonderland having a horror movie would probably be pretty cool. I, I could see them doing that in the future years if these are successful, right? Uh, if these are if these aren't successful, I guess maybe they're not going to experiment as much. But holy smokes, folks, just a wacky ride, a wacky. Wa <laughs> I just can't believe it. we're getting a Grinch movie that is a horror film and a Pooh Bear movie that is a horror film. Literally like three months apart. Like what a timeline! What a time to be alive, folks! Holy shit! I, I can't wait to read those. You guys are going to have a good chuckle down there. I, I already know it. Uh, let me know what movies, like what what uh, characters in the public domain would you like to see uh, being made into a horror film? One of you guys, I think it was Kevin. Kevin in my chat last night said, Sandro, what if Cat in the Hat got a horror film? Yeah, that's an idea there, right? Uh, some of you would actually argue the Mike, My the Mike Myers live action version basically was a horror film. <laughs> I mean, he does look pretty scary in that cat in the hat costume. Uh, but yeah, let me know all your thoughts down below. What do you want to see become a horror film next? Or are you just sick of this trend where we're just making all these iconic characters into horror monster movies? Uh, let me know down below. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And why not watch an ad for your boy, Sandro? Thank you guys so much. Have a great uh, Halloween. You know, have a great Christmas and have a great night. See you later. Bye-bye. The end.